it is stitch festival day and i thought i would try and film a little bit um, i'm gonna film on my phone just because it's a lot easier than taking the camera but obviously quality is not quite as good and it's a probably a little bit shaky because i'm holding the phone um but i thought you'd like to see what i get up to at the stitch festival today i am um, it's just gone eight o'clock i'm waiting for my parents to come pick me up me and my mum are getting the train from southampton up to london um, so we'll probably get there about 11-ish. This is what we've done the last few years. We'll get there about 11-ish, have a little whiz round, have some lunch, do some more browsing and shopping and things, um, and then leave about 4-ish. So it's a bit whistle-stop, but it's going to be lovely, and I'm very excited. I, of course, have been having a big old flap about what to actually wear today. I thought I had chosen what I was going to wear, but when I put it on, it didn't actually feel right for the weather, um, it was a, a jumpsuit. So then I was like, oh, but then, you know, toilet situation, all of this kind of stuff. So I was like, no, no, that's not going to work. Put on a jumper, but it smelt from cooking. <laughs> smelt of fajitas. So that's gone in the wash. Put on another jumper that was a bit grubby. So that's not right. So I've gone for this, which obviously you've seen last week. Um, I need to do some fitting though. And then obviously I'm like, oh, but everyone's going to know that it doesn't fit right because I'm going to a sewing thing and blah blah no one's gonna care are they really no one's gonna care anyway I'm not gonna babble on too long because obviously you want to see everything at the stitch festival I'm gonna be brave filming in front of other people is not in my comfort zone but I'm gonna do it I hope you enjoy it Gorgeous cloud buttons. Are they on the website? No, they're not. They're exclusive at the show, and then they'll be going on in the next month. Amazing. Are you having a good show so far? Yeah, it's crazy, but I love being here because you can see all the gorgeous people you get to see. It's like Instagram come to life. Yeah. And yeah, it's just lovely. Lovely energy. Hi, Phil. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, really good. Really, really super busy and a little bit warm, but yeah, have you got some new things? Yeah, look. So I've got um, the new metal dress pattern, which I've got all my samples of. So if you're coming to the show, you can see what they look like when they're made up. I've also got some labels which aren't on the website yet, which say couture and artisan. And this is a bit of a Spice Girls, because I'm a bit of a Spice Girls oh God, fan girl. Those. And they say swing it, um, shake it, move it, made it. So yeah, I love these it. are my new bits. So yeah. I'm going to so, get those, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to meet you all. What are you guys doing? Lauren's working with Narissa. I am. So Narissa's left me. She's just doing a workshop. But what we're doing over the four days, we're doing a community quilt. So every scrap of Narissa's amazing fabric collection, beautiful, beautiful fabrics, we're using all her scrap fabrics in order to make some hexi flowers. Let me go and grab some for you. Okay. So, we're getting people to make a hexi flower like this using fabric scraps. With these, we're going to piece them all together and make a massive quilt. I love that. This quilt will then be, fingers crossed, exhibited later on this year. So, we're getting people to contribute their little flower, and that sounds really weird. <laughs> yeah, I'll edit it. Yeah, I'll edit it. <laughs> Right. We'll edit that one. So, we are hoping that everyone's contributions will then make a massive quilt over the four days. We're doing really well. I mean, we can pan at some hands maybe, but um, you can see that 
it's been very, very busy. Busy. So, yeah. Where are you going to exhibit it? So, it's all very top secret at the moment, Ooh. but I will reveal when we can. Ooh, we do okay. have an artist that will be um, taking it over the um, across the UK, which is very exciting. Oh, that's amazing. Um, just to showcase community and hobbies and all of those yeah. things, which we love. love so that. that will be fun. And then, fingers crossed, we'll be exhibited somewhere else as well. But all very exciting. Ooh, watch this space. So, I know. So, fingers <laughs> crossed, you're going to come back to see a full... Yes. Yeah, definitely. We'll Can't see how we'll see how we get on. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Laura. You're welcome. I've found the lovely ladies at Emporia who've got a new pattern to show us as well Hello. as models. Rather beautifully. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> it's going brilliantly. So this is Zoe. This is our brand new pattern, which is a shirt dress. Uh, it features a bucket at the front of the waist, it's got pleats at the front and the back ragged sleeves and side splits and couture pockets it's rammed with detail you can see all the details on here it's so pretty i've just bought it it's lovely and it's going really well yeah and then you've got a, oh, the tony as well the tony shirt tony from the sewing bee yay yes, we worked with yeah. him uh, done a collaboration and um, produced a man's shirt it's our first men specific shirt although obviously anybody can wear it and it comes in sizes from 36 to 56 and if you're a man who likes to sew, this is for you. Yeah. Or if you have a man in your life, I do get I do get told off quite often for not sewing anything for my husband. There you are. So, so Tony is what you need. Which one's winning the race at the moment? Um, it was Tony. So Zoe's just clipped him slightly, but we'll have to see by the end of the day, and then by the end of the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that was amazing. I am so tired today. I couldn't sleep last night. My head was buzzing. Um, we got back about 8.30, I think. Uh, it was so good. I had such a lovely time. Always lovely, of course, to spend the day with my lovely mum. And then I got to chat to so many amazing ladies, businesses, customers, followers, just, oh, I, I have a full cup today I have a very full cup so yeah it was really lovely my voice feels a little bit hoarse from chatting so much actually but oh, it was just lovely and thank you so much to everyone who stopped to say hello you're much braver than I am <laughs> I'm much more shy than that but thank you so much if you did stop to say hello I really really appreciate it I can't tell you how much how lovely it is I very nearly didn't come home with any fabric I've got buttons, I've got labels, I've got bias binding. Um, but to start, although all the fabric there was absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning, there was nothing that really like I had to have until the last little whiz round that we had half an hour before we left. I think my aim yesterday was to kind of um, boost my haberdashery stash. So I wanted to just, I didn't have any particular projects in mind for bias binding and buttons. I just wanted to get a few things to put in my stash for those times when I suddenly need some buttons or something like that. So let's start with bias binding. I got a couple of um, lovely bias bindings from the Specky Seamstress. Laura wasn't there because she had a baby four days ago. I mean, you know, it's a little bit, it's not lazy. <laughs> She's recovering from having her lovely little boy, so congratulations, Laura. Um, but yeah, I got a couple of pieces of bias binding. I kind of regret not getting another colour. I didn't kind of, you know, when you get in the moment, um, and I didn't realise that I'd bought two black bases, but they're definitely going to come in useful because I sew so much black fabric. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, they are beautiful. I will have to go on and get some more because it is just the best quality. Then I stopped at the Little Rosy Cheeks stand, as you will have seen. And of course, I got the Swing It, Shake It, Move It, Make It label. I am, I am Spice Girls era. I also got these little, little pencil labels. I thought they'd be really cute for Mia, actually, for school. Um, and then this one, I'm gonna have to open this because they're kind of hiding, is pretty much my sewing mantra, to be honest. It says, it is what it is. 
And that's kind of my same mantra, just, it is what it is. It's not perfect, it's wearable, I love it, and I had a great time making it. It is what it is. So those are the labels that I got from Victoria, who may or may not be working on a special design for the So Haley Jane boxes coming up in a couple of months time, just, you know, say. Then I went to see Ethel and Joan, the lovely Louise, who's always just a joy, absolute joy to see. And I got a couple of plain little shirt buttons, just things that you just need. I have these in lilac and I used them on an Anthea blouse last year. So I know that they're, they're just perfect for just like a nice shirt. Um, like the one I made in my video last week, these would have been perfect. They're a little bit smaller than the ones I used, so I'm not gonna swap them out because they'll fall out, fall through the buttonhole. But yeah, got blue and I got black. Again, I could have bought a whole lot more then it was over to the lovely guys at Pigeon Wishes and again I got a couple of packs of buttons. These ones are just little sort of pearly white ones and then these greeny goldy ones as well which are lovely. They're a little bit bigger than the um, Ethel and Jane ones so but they're still really good for shirts, shirt dresses and things like that. So yeah, love those. I did get the new Zoe dress from Emporia Patterns. It looks beautiful. I love that it's a shirt dress that doesn't have a waist seam, but it um, gives the silhouette through pleats or darts. Pleats, are we calling them pleats or are we calling them darts? Pleats. Um, and it says in the back, rectangular pleats create a subtle corseting effect at the waist. So there's four pleats along the front underneath the bust in the waist and four pleats at the back. And I love it, it's got raglan sleeves, it's got a two-piece collar, it's got couture cutaway pockets, so it's very much um, an intermediate pattern. Um, so if you've got a few skills under your belt, they've kind of put lots of skills in one pattern. So it might test me. I think I've, I mean, I've done pleats, I've done collars, I haven't done couture cutaway pockets though, so something new there for me. And also the um, front placket that kind of stops, it doesn't go all the way down. Most of the times when I do button placquets, it's from um, collar to hem. This one stops halfway, so be interesting to see how that's done. But yeah, can't you just see this in like the denim chambre from last month's classic So Hayley Jane boxes? Definitely something with a little bit of weight. I think it's just beautiful. And the sizing is incredible as well. It goes up to a 69 and a half inch hip, which is amazing. So that's my sort of stash bits. And then I did find some fabrics. So I couldn't go home without getting something for Mia. I know I have told you last week she is a bit of a fuss pot, but there is a dress that I've made for her twice that she does love. The first one I made two years ago, it's now too small for her. Um, and then I made another version last year in a Halloween-y fabric, which she really loves, but I actually ended up making it too big. So I need to get somewhere in the middle. And it is the festival dress by Tadar Patterns. It's really cute. It's got like a cutout at the back and then you can have just an A-line skirt, a circle skirt, or a gathered tiered skirt, which is probably what I'll do with this one. Her current favorite color is black, and she does need a little cute party dress, although no doubt she'll want to wear this all the time. So I got this from Rainbow Fabrics. It's a viscose with these little stars all over. You've got little like clusters of stars and then more spread out stars as well. So I think that's really, really pretty. She loved it. She was very happy when she saw it this morning. She was fast asleep when I got back home last night, bless her. So I had to sneak in and give her a little kiss. But yeah, I'm a bit jealous of this one actually. I think this would make a really lovely blouse too. Might have to get some more. Then I was at, when I was at the Rainbow Fabrics stall, which was the very last stand that I went to actually in the end. 
and I saw this and it's a viscose crepe and it's a dead stock. The guy there told me it was a dead stock for whistles, um, which I did find on the whistles website um, as a blouse. It's described as leopard print on the whistles and it's a oh, whistles website. It's got a kind of minty blue background with the green leopard print all over. I just think it's really, really lovely. I think it's super springy. When I'm gonna have time to make all of these things along with all the other things that are on my list of things that I want to make this week, plus, you know, work. <sighs> I saw a lady at the festival in the distance and was wearing a really lovely dress. It was a similar kind of minty color. It had a placket, a front placket similar to this one that sort of stopped just under the bust, gathered at the waist, and then it had a tiered gathered skirt, and it had um, like balloon sleeves that gather um, with elastic at the wrist. It didn't have a collar. It was like um, kind of, not quite like the Myosotis dress, but I'm trying to think, I can't remember what it's actually called. But it didn't have a collar, it just had like a tiny little collar bit but not like a two-piece collar like a traditional collar and she wore it with a brown belt and it just looked really really lovely so if you have any idea of the pattern that I'm talking about please do let me know because I think that was really lovely um so that was that and then finally I went for plain fabric it's a waffle cotton jersey so it's not going to look like much on the screen because it's white, um, but it's got, let's see, is it going to pick up this waffle texture? This was from Higgs and Higgs. I love the Higgs and Higgs stand. Oh, I'm getting covered in bits of fabric. And the, oh, my top tip, by the way, if you do go to the Stitch Festival, upstairs on the very top floor is the Higgs and Higgs remnant bins. They are great for digging through. Um, but go a bit later in the day once it's gone a bit quieter because we first went sort of midday-ish and you could not get into those remnant bits. <laughs> it was heaving. But when we went to get back a bit later on, it was much quieter and there was still loads left. So I didn't get anything from the remnant bins this year, but last year I picked up a couple of pieces of jersey to make Mia some t-shirts, um, which she wears. She does wear them. So yes, that's good. So this is a waffle cotton jersey from Higgs and Higgs because I am, you know, with my whole elevate my wardrobe, I'm thinking something like the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt, but I want to, I don't actually know if this is part of the Billy pattern or not actually. It's got, the Billy pattern has a cuffed sleeve, but I want to extend the cuff to like here. So have the big puffy sleeves and then the cuff here. I quite like that idea. Um, yeah, what do you think? I think it's just gonna look very elegant, very classy, cause I'm a classy lady. That is my haul. I am very happy with everything that I got. Like I said, when am I gonna make the things? I'm halfway through making my first pair of Thea trousers. I have another dress half made from last year. I have a pair of pajamas that I cut out last January <laughs> that I haven't made yet. And another dress that I've cut out and has been put to one side. <laughs> and I want to make my blazer as well. I haven't even started my blazer. <sighs> so many things. I just want to make everything and there's just not enough time. <sighs> I need a second me. Anyway. That's everything. I had an absolutely amazing time at the Stitch Festival. We were saying yesterday, we, so we got up, we got there about 11 o'clock. Our train from Southampton left at just after nine. We got to the festival about 11. Um, late night shopping on Thursday, which was great for us, but I did feel for all the vendors there because they were already pretty tired. Um, but the, the organizers of the Stitch Festival were giving out Prosecco to the vendors as a, a little, Thank you for staying. Um, but that me did mean for us that we didn't have to rush off. So that was quite nice. We had time. I think we were pretty much done by about 
five, but I didn't get to do any of the, I didn't get to see any of the catwalks, any of the talks, do any of the workshops. That was literally just shopping and chatting. I did do a lot of chatting, but that was literally just shopping and chatting. So I think next year, hopefully we might, we might make a couple of days of it. We might go up the day before, get there early and do the whole day. And then we might do some sightseeing because we had a couple of really lovely taxi drivers from the, the station um, who were telling us all these different points of interest. And I haven't been to London as a tourist for ages. Usually when I go up there, it's to go to something. And I didn't get to see all the bits. And every time I go and I'm looking out the window, I'm like, oh, look at all these lovely bits. Lovely buildings, lovely things that I want to see. And I just never get around to it. So we might make a couple of days of it next year. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed your little look around the Stitch Festival with me. Have a lovely day and I will see you all really soon. Bye. Bye.